Before the treatment, all the trees just looked like one bl big blob, green blob, and then it just um, looked opened up like how it how I think you would see a tree. And I went to China in May 2009, and I got vis vision treatment, and my vision was improved. In China, this is actually in China. I noticed the detail the details of the bathroom counter. There was more specks than I had realized. At first, I saw only two or three, and now and then I saw like twenty or thirty. My name is Jennifer Newcomb, and I'm Ty's mom. Uh, we're in Florida for our stem cell the stem cell uh, awareness seminar. Something that we believe in that we support greatly. Um, we would really like to see it legal here in the U.S. If I can help people get to where we're at now, you know, that are in the same boat as us, um, you know, it's it's just been an amazing journey. And if, if you know, somebody's out there that's like Ty, that, that sees, you know, the same and wants to have better quality of life, um, you know, I, I think it's worth a chance because what else is there out there for for ONH and SOD, I mean, there's there's really nothing. And I was always told that there was no nothing that would help improve his vision. Um, so I never gave up hope. And I would definitely um, encourage somebody to at least check into it and, and try, you know, to, to have the quality of life uh, be improved. Because, you know, it has been for Thai, for us. Going into a foreign country, going in, you know, away from home, leaving my family for a month, it was a really hard decision. But, um, you know, I, I talked to so many people and heard so many positive results from all these kids. And um, I researched the company and, you know, had an advocate that really guided me through. And I think that's what made my decision, you know, that, that it was okay. We had one doctor, because Ty has a local optometrist, and then he has an ophthalmologist that he, we have to travel to um, to see. The ophthalmolog op ophthalmologist was guarded. She was never that supportive. Um, although the optometrist that he sees was very, pretty supportive. Um, guardedly optimistic is <laughs> what he said, but very supportive with, you know, doing all the tests prior. And um, so, yeah, we were very, very happy with that. And um, the ophthalmologist kind of, after the, the treatment was done and um, at the six month follow-up visit, she, um, she said that the optic nerve looked healthier. So that was nice to hear, you know, somebody that was once very guarded um, say that. They did a measurement that it had grown in size by about 40%. It was 40% in the left eye and 15% in the right eye. So, um, and with increased blood flow. The, the optic photos show that he had um, increased, it looked a lot pinker rather than gray. So that was exciting to hear. Um, he had seven stem cell treatments and uh, five of them were IV, and then he had two spinals. The first spinal, I heard, talking to people, I heard that IVs were just as good as spinals, but then I wanted to give it the most benefit that it was gonna have on him. Um, so I decided to do the spinals, and after the first spinal, he did have a slight reaction. Um, he had a headache and um, had to be put on antibiotics. They thought it was maybe a slight um, infection. So I was a little bit hesitant to do another spinal, um, but we went ahead and did another spinal, and it was fine the second time. The standards, I think, were a little bit different than America, just, um, you know, with not having a lot of hot water at times and whatnot. Um, the plates were kind of, you know, the plastic was peeling off and you know so I guess um, they went and bought new dishes and um, but overall I mean the, the service was great we had a lot of support um, from the staff and the doctors the doctors were amazing the doctors were very good um, so we did have a, a lot of support I would just say you know to those people going to China 
um, or thinking about going, um, <clears throat> not to have too high of expectations because you never know. Everybody's different. And um, just to trust in what you believe in and, and hope for the best. You know, that's all you can do. At least you tried. You know, that's, that's the way I looked at it. Um, if I had never done so, then I would have never known. So, um, and you know, as far as what to bring, you know, there's, there's just, I guess it depends on what you eat and what you're willing to try and, you know, with the different foods and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely an experience and um, one to remember for a lifetime, for sure. <laughs>